We are turning this empty-ish, kind of weird space in my kitchen into a coffee slash tea bar nook. If you're wondering, what's the style? There is no style. I am creating an original, just picking up pieces that I like. Let's go see how this all turns out. If you're anything like me, one of my favorite moments of the day is enjoying a hot drink. In the mornings, I enjoy waking up to a freshly brewed hot coffee. And then throughout the day, I love having a cup of hot green tea or black tea to warm me up and give me that little boost of caffeine to finish up the day. There's really something special and soothing and just relaxing in the moment of making that drink and then enjoying that drink, especially on those cold days. It's just nice to have a pick-me-up. At nighttime, I love having a warm cup of tea like Camelo or Spearmint to unwind and calm my nerves. I've always been a tea person because tea is really like medicine. If you need to wake up, there's a tea for it. If you need to calm your nerves, there's a tea for that. If you need an immune boost, there's so many teas for that. So today we are creating a space in my kitchen where we can enjoy those hot drinks Hi everyone and welcome back to Rise and Slate. It's Ala here. Today we are creating this blankish area in my kitchen into a coffee slash tea bar nook. I've been wondering what to do with this blankish kind of area in my kitchen for a while and was contemplating on what to create in here. Since I enjoy coffee and tea every single day, I love it so much. Why not create something that will be perfect for me? Something that I will use every day. I'm going to try and make this area a warm, welcoming, cozy, homey little nook that will just give and bring warmth into this home and that we can use every single day. If you are a lover of hot drinks, maybe this will inspire you to create something like this or if you're just thinking of creating a coffee bar already and you just wanna see how other people create it. All of the pieces that I have picked up over the weeks are very nicely priced. I will show you guys the stores and the prices. Everything here is kinda of laid out for you guys to see. If you're wondering, what's the style? There is no style. Well, I am creating an original, picking up pieces that I liked. A lot of these pieces are also just picked up from the house, so I walked around and saw pieces that I thought would work for it. That is a good idea when you're creating something, and if you wanna be budget friendly, it is nice to just look around your house. And I'm anxious to get started, to start playing around. Let's go see how this all turns out. So I'm bringing you into the kitchen and I'm just going to show you kind of the tour and how the layout is in the kitchen and how this little awkward kind of bare corner looks when you come into the kitchen and just kind of show you where we will be working and creating the coffee station. So the first thing I got was a floating shelf just to cover up, as you can see, this kind of bare wall here and just to give it also some storage where you can put things in it. And I picked up this one from Ross for $26, I believe. I liked it because it has a shelf and it also has the hooks where I can put all of the cups. I can hang them up there. So I'll show you the review of all of the things I picked up. A lot of these are just from the house and a few of them I picked up from the store. I have a lot of decor here in a little space, so I'm sure I'm not gonna be using it all. But when you're creating something from scratch, I think it's really nice to have choices and options because you don't know what you're doing yet. Like I said, there really is no style, but I really like playing with a lot of different materials and textures, heights, and things like that. So I have, as you can see, copper, wood, glass, different textures, different materials that I'll be playing with. But really, I'm going for a really like clean white look overall, as you can see. Step one is to put the shelf up on the wall 
So I'm having Cody do that for me before we start. Is that center? Yeah. So before starting to decorate the area, I'm just gonna give it a wipe down. It was very, very dusty. So I'm just gonna give this a nice wipe. Ask the question, then you said it. I was saying. One of the things that I do when I decorate is I put the pieces that I know I'll be using for sure and then I know their spot for sure in their places first. So the tray and the cups are going to go first along with the coffee machine. And this one here I picked up from Amazon. I really like the aesthetic white look. Mini small size where it could fit into the station. I still feel your ghost inside my chest No, we didn't learn our lesson this butt first coffee sign is from Ross. It was $7.99 and I love the simplicity of it. These glass cups I've had forever and they are from Walmart and they were each a buck. I've had an eye on these jars from Walmart for a long time and I finally purchased them. I paid around 20 bucks for both of them together. This vase I had in my house and I picked up also these beautiful branches from Walmart. There's an assortment of three in here and I paid $3 a piece. I was dreaming that would make it in the rear view. The little white house that I have here was a leftover for my Christmas decorations and I love how it gives the nook a homey little touch. All of these other pieces I'm adding on I had around the house. Whenever you are decorating a space, you know how it is. You have to rearrange a hundred times to get the look that you are looking for and that is exactly what I am doing here. This copper textured little bowl, I got it from Ross for $2.99. And I really love how it gives an extra place to store things in here and it also gives a pop of color to my station without overwhelming it too much. Now that the bar nook is decorated, as you can see in the back, it is time to make it functional. We are going to use all of my favorite drinks to stuck it up right now. flowers in the jars look better on the shelf or on the cabinet below. At the end I left the flowers on the cabinet but I'm still not sure about it. If you guys have an opinion I would love to hear. Comment me below what you think, where you think it looks better. Jars up top or flowers up top. All the decorating has left the kitchen a mess so I'm going to pick up the mess before. I'm going to show you guys the before and the after of how it turned out. 